Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a look at creating a while loop that will run continuously based off user inputs. So right now what we're building is a blackjack game and if you haven't seen the other videos definitely recommend going back and watching one of those so that you have a better conceptual understanding of the methods that we built earlier, the functions, but this is a standalone video, so you should be able to watch this on its own and pick up some very valuable knowledge from it. Quick note, uh, disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes and is not intended to promote gambling in any way. All right, let's get started here. So right now we have the main function, so we're going to build out some of the logic of our blackjack game. So right now what we need to do we're going to use these two lines of code kind of the way they are, but right now all we do is we get a, a shuffled deck of cards here, and then we pull a, a couple of cards off the top, draw cards for the player hand and the dealer hand, and then now we need to perform the logic of our blackjack game. So we're going to use while true, so an infinite while loop, that's just going to run continuously until we tell it to stop and when is it going to stop we'll get to that so think of it as you're sitting at the blackjack table if you have if you ever have or you're playing the game there's a uh, places you can play online too if you're interested but uh, you could play uh, the way the game operates is the first thing you'll notice is <clears throat> after you get cards your <laughs> your hand gets calculated the value of your hand this takes in the player hand variable, and then the user then would read their hand and see it. So your hand is always face up. You're playing against the dealer. You're not playing against the other people at the table, if there are any. Player value. So we have a little F string there that will display your hand display the value of your hand. Dealers will usually tell you what the value of your hand is to make your life a little bit easier. Then the dealer will show one of their cards. So this is a partial information game where you learn a little bit about what your opponent is going to do. In this case, it's just an automated dealer. And then we can delete these. We're not going to take Uh, first thing we want to do is make sure that the user hasn't gone over their hand. Now, on the first iteration of this loop, this code will always be false. The player value will always be less than 21. But placing it here helps us on our second and all subsequent, all thereafter iterations of the loop. Where we say, hey, the game is over because your hand has gone over 21. Uh, this could probably be pasted at the bottom of the code as well, but uh, the placement of it here makes our life a little bit easier because then we can just put our if loop, our if else statement right down here without interrupting the program flow. So now we're going to ask the user what they'd like to do. And then in parentheses, kind of giving away hint how they're supposed to type and interact with our program. And then we also explicitly say it. And then we can do this to upper function, which means they don't have to type an uppercase letter. It'll automatically convert it to it, which is very convenient when you're playing. So now we need to handle when the person hits. So hit means you want to get another card. Then we do player hand append. Just like we did up here, we draw a card, and we use the card deck. That's all we need for that action. We're just going to add a card, and then the loop will iterate and 
check the value of their hand again. Let's say their hand did not go over 21. The user would have the ability to say, okay, my hand is good. I don't want to add any more cards. Remember, you're trying to beat the dealer's value without going over 21. Now, we'll build this in the next video. For now, we're just going to pass, or we could also say break. And then the last thing we want to do is make sure the user knows when they've typed in the wrong input. So, invalid input. Please type H4. Now this is a very basic blackjack game. In blackjack you have more than two options. But for now, this is the main functionality of the game. It's the core functionality that you'll be doing 90% of the time when you're playing. Probably more than 90%. And so, that's all we're going to build for this. Feel free to dive into the code more and build it the way you like. But this is most of what's needed to, to get the program up and going once we build this situation where you stay and then the dealer plays out their hand. Uh, let's run the code and get a quick glance at how this works. Oh, we're missing we're missing the break down here. Just remember. Uh, if no, 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 that's right. Okay, let's run. So we're gonna hit. We have a nine. We're gonna hit. Dealer showing an ace. They could easily have blackjack. We're gonna stand here, and we don't see their cards because we haven't built it yet. But in this break statement, you would see. You would see something like the dealer's cards, right? You'd also see. You'd see their entire hand, not just their face-up card, and you would see the value of their hand. But we're gonna build that in the next part. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.